Believe it or not, 2024 is almost over. In just one week from today, we'll be 75% of the way through the year. And I'm willing to bet that some of you out there right now are sitting with your laptops trying to find the perfect idea just for you to start your SaaS journey before the year's over. So from all the things that I've learned and all of the failures I've had so far, here's exactly what I would do if I wanted to launch a SaaS in 90 days or less. All right, so the tech stack seems like the obvious place to start, but before you dive in and start foaming over the mouth over SEO and SSR and all that other crap, you gotta find an idea that's actually worth working on first. And if you missed the last video where I talk about luck, click the card somewhere up here, but the too long didn't read is that you're not going to find an idea just out of luck. You won't find your idea sitting behind your keyboard, tapping away, spinning in your freaking chair, just hoping one pops up. You need to get out there. You need to do stuff that you're actually interested in and find the gaps and the holes in the process, figure out where complaints are and just make things better. And for the love of God, please, Please do not make yet another fitness and budgeting app unless you like no shit have a real unfair advantage. So now that you have your idea, I already know you bought the damn domain, but <laughs> take a pause, pump the brakes one second, just hear me out. One of the major failures that I had when I was working on Benchbox and something that uh, I low key regret was feeling like unless I started with Shipfast or ShipRN or some other template lead from Vercel just came out with one. And now Tanstack is in the alpha of their starter. But the truth is you don't need any of that crap. When you start with templates, maybe, maybe if you're really experienced, you get a little bit of speed and efficiency. But what happened for me is I just lost a whole lot of context. So bugs are going to come up questions about your system are gonna come up and you just won't know unless you're gonna go read every single line of code. It's just not worth it. And it's really overwhelming and ultimately cost me probably more time than it would have had I just started from a bear project. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that you need to go and completely abandon all of these templates. But what I am saying is just don't start with it. Cherry pick pieces of the template over that you like and that you think is valuable when the time comes and not a second before that. If you do it, there's a high chance you're just gonna overwhelm yourself. If I were to start over, I would just start by picking tools with a singular focus. Tools like Superbase is really incredible and their free tier is so generous. But now six or seven months in, as I'm diving deeper and deeper, a lot of these tools where they are doing more than one job just keep coming up short. You know, it's kind of like that saying where if you're the jack of all trades, you're the master of none. Well, that's the same thing with all these damn tools. And then the last big thing here is just pick tools that you know. Now, if you're trying to launch your SaaS in 90 days, now is not the time to experience new tools and technologies and experiment and play around. It's just not that time. Pick the tools you know and just start shipping because the real reality of the entire situation here, your customers do not care about your tech stack. They don't give a shit. They care about that the button to do the action exists. So like if you're making the button in spring or Nest.js or Next.js or Remix or whatever, just go make the damn button. Give the customers the tool and let them pay you for it. The next thing that I would do if I were launching a SaaS in 90 days is not actually code related literally at all. And it's about fitness. And I get it. Some of you are like, oh, bullshit. Just another bro talking about going for a run. And I used to think that too. I still remember the days of doing huge multi-hour coding sessions just to come out of my code coma and realize that I literally haven't drank any water for the entire day. And you don't need to be like Goggins and just burn yourself into the ground. Just move a little bit. You just need to get out of your damn room, go for a walk, go for a run, exercise, hike, go fishing, do something. Get outside, do something. And I promise that you'll be happier, more energized, more focused, and you will give yourself the mental breather that you need in the middle of the day, honestly that you need in the middle of the day so that you can keep going for those crazy long sessions. And I clearly have not been following this too well for myself. So here is me taking accountability for my own damn problems and uh, getting a little exercise in. So see you soon. sucked every time and I broke my freaking glasses I don't know how the hell this happens but the screw popped out so super awesome <sighs>
All right, let's go talk about the last thing I'd do. And the last thing that I would do would be to actually time block and plan out all of my coding sessions. Big ones, small ones, in-betweens, whatever it is, actually put it on your damn calendar for a couple reasons. One, put it on your calendar so it actually happens. Live by that calendar. And if you live by that calendar, you'll actually make progress. And then two, by putting these blocks in the calendar, you'll see what your realistic bandwidth is. And ultimately this bandwidth is gonna say how minimal your MVP needs to be. You could push a product. If you can write code for 30 minutes every week, I guarantee you that you can launch a product in 90 days. It's not gonna be a great product. It might be an off screen and a single app page. That's it. But if it's only 30 minutes a week, I'm sure you can handle that. And the reality is you have everything that you need and you just need to start. So I'm proud of you. I'm stoked to see what you make. And I'm so damn excited to see you launch whatever your product is. And with that, good luck. I will see you next week. Peace.